action. <laughs> Hello class, good afternoon. Now, there is one question. What will happen if we mix water with oil? What will happen? So generally, we will get, now, if you put oil and water in a beaker, what will happen is they will phase separate. The phases will be separated with oil at the upper region and water in the inner region. Now, except if we have one special chemical known as surfactant. Surfactant or the name comes from surface active agent. Surface active agent which usually we will draw the structure is like this. This is the I Philip Hayes and this side known as hydrophobic tape. Now, surfactant could come in form of liquid and also in the form of solid. Now, what will happen now? Example of surfactant is our detergent or our soap. So what happens if you put our detergent inside a beaker that contains of oil and water? Well, basically, they will mix together and becomes one fine phase. We cannot see oil and water in separated phase. If we put enough percentage of surfactant inside the solution. Now, what is happening? So basically, it's like this. If we increase the concentration of surfactant, what will happen is actually we will solubilize either water or oil inside oil or water. So what will happen is actually we encapsulate maybe water will be encapsulated by the surfactant surrounded by oil and whenever we have reached this phase if the size of the water droplets is in nanometer size we will get a very clear solution now if the size of the water droplet is in micrometer region we will get terbit solution now what happens if we increase the concentration even more The physical properties of the solution will be changed from microemulsion. Yeah, the name of this nanometer size water droplets is microemulsion, and the micrometer size of water droplets known as emulsion, and. Color, uh, the physical properties will be terbit. Nanometer size, microemulsion, micrometer size, the name is emulsion. The difference is clear solution, terbit solution. Now what will happen if we increase the concentration of surfactant even more? Now, the water droplets now become organized. Instead of being this kind of structure it may behave differently for example it will form lamella this is water this is oil there the 
Spectres are organized over here. The hydrophilic head is facing towards the water and hydrophilic hydrophobic tail is facing towards oil and this side will be water and again we will have oil water oil again again so we will have ordered structure with layered orientation now, if we have this phase, the phase is known as lamella phase, liquid crystal. And the physical properties is no longer like a solution. It is almost semi solid it is crystal but little bit liquidish type and call us semi solid now what happens if we increase the concentration even more concentration of surfactant instead of having layer structure it might combine and form hexagonal structure with water inside over here then the spectrums are encapsulating water in this hexagonal structure and hexagonal structure you could see the structure inside yeah this is the hexagonal structure this is lamella structure this is hexagonal structure and if we increase the concentration of surfactant even more the structure of the crystal is will be changed from hexagonal to cubic now how do we determine these phases we could determine these phases using polarizing optical microscope. It's polarized, not normal microscope, it's polarized microscope. So, if we have emulsion, which the size of the water droplets is in region of micrometer, we could see clearly the droplets of water inside oil, or droplets of oil inside water in the microscope and you could easily observe the structure just in like your laboratory manual like this this is the structure of emulsion you could see the structure of emulsion easily in microscope and if you turn on the polarizer you cannot see anything that is the characteristic of emulsion now how about micro emulsion where the size of droplets is in nanometer nanometer region definitely you cannot see using your naked eye or normal microscope you cannot see anything if your sample is micro emulsion and if you turn on the polarizer also you cannot see anything but if we have lamella phase liquid crystal this is lamella phase liquid crystal you will have woolly structure structure like wool without turning on the polarizer you cannot see anything so for liquid crystal you have to turn on your polarizer and you will see this structure so if you could observe woolly structure that is mean you have layered orientation of lamella phase liquid crystal now how about hexagonal phase 
hexagonal face is like this. If you turn off the polarizer, you cannot see anything. But once you have turned on the polarizer, you will have this focal conic structure. This is definitely hexagonal face of liquid crystal. Now we have one more face. That is the cubic face liquid crystal. Now cubic face liquid crystal is special. Cubic face liquid crystal, you cannot see anything with or without polarizer. You will have just blank space over there. You cannot see anything. But the difference is, if you if your liquid crystal, if your liquid cubic face liquid crystal is placed in a vial. You tap the vial, the vial will ring just like a bell. You tap a bell, it will ring ting just like that. So that is the unique properties of cubic liquid crystal. Now, your task today is you have four objectives. You have to mix surfactant, we will give you surfactant. Uh, where is the surfactant? I have the surfactant. Just a minute. We have the surfactant. Ah, everything is over here. Now, you have to mix the surfactant. It's in powder form. Mix surfactant. You have to mix ethanol. And you have to mix one more. Is water. You have to use the ionized water. How to mix them? You have to set, for example, 100% of weight is equivalent to 10 gram. So you have to refer to your lab manual. For, for example, for example, table one will be used by group number one. Surfactant, the first sample will be 90% of weight surfactant, 0% weight of oil, and 10% weight of water. So what you need to do is you have to set 100%, for example, 100% is 10 gram. So 90% of 10 grams is equivalent to 9 gram. So you have to weigh 9 gram of surfactant and put it in a vial. A vial will be given. And then you have to weigh 10% of 100 Sorry, 10% of 10 grams equivalent to 1 gram. You have to weigh 1 gram of water and put inside the vial. Then you have to mix them together. How to mix them? Simple. Now, you will be given vial like this. Measure the needed grams of surfactant. Put it inside. And measure the needed weight of heptanol, put it inside, and measure the needed weight of water, and put it inside. So you could mix them using your hand, but it will take you two days to finish. Now, it can be easily done by using this instrument. This is called Vortex Mixer. Put it in touch mode, switch it to the maximum, and start pushing your sample like this. I haven't turned on the machine so it won't start. So whenever you push, whenever you touch, the vial will be shaked automatically by this instrument. So this will save your energy and time. Instead of two days, you just you get finish one sample within two minutes. Now, what happened if your sample still cannot be mixed easily? What you can do is You will be supplied by the most efficient instrument, the hair dryer. Behold the hair dryer. Heat your sample a little bit, full mode, just like this. Hold the sample, make sure you hold it tight, and heat the sample using hair dryer. Heat the sample, and then again, heat the sample. Use Vortex Mixer, observe, if they don't mix very well, again, reheat using the hairdryer and again, Vortex Mixer for a while, see again, if it doesn't mix, repeat the same cycle a few times. That is all what you need. So, 
I have done the theoretical part. The experimental part, you just need to explore how to use the weighing, uh, the weighing instrument, the hair dryer. This is very complicated. I also don't know how to use hair dryer. And how to use the vortex mixer. Now comes the second part, I mean the ultimate part, that is using the microscope. Let's go to the microscope.